Good morning! This is Remy. Welcome back to my channel. So it's Monday morning. I just came from the gym. Fortunately, I'm off today. Um, it's a holiday, um, so I'm able to cook this morning for dinner. Um, so like I said, I'm Filipino. Um, I will cook American most of the time, but sometimes I have a taste for Filipino food, just like today. So today I'm cooking shrimp sinigang. That is a, a soup dish um, that's very sour. Um, so it's a sour soup dish. Uh, it's delicious. You, it goes with rice. That's what mostly how we eat our, our meals is with rice. And so our shrimp is... I love my shrimp and I don't know, I love the head. I, I rinsed it out with the head. That's the shrimp with the head and I rinsed that out already. And so in my pot, I do the vegetable first. That's how I do it. I wanna make sure the vegetable is done. And because I separate my shrimp after I cook them in my soup, I separate it because I don't want it to be soggy when I want to eat it later on. So I'm going to take this vegetable out of here. and It's just in a boiling water. I have string beans, radish, um, some spinach, and I have some okra. And that's about it, what I put on my soup dish. Um, so I'm gonna take this out. I think I've got a smaller container than I thought. I need a bigger one, I think, but I think it's gonna fit in there. And so now when I take this vegetable out of this soup, um, I'm gonna strain it and put my soup my shrimp in this soup. And so, um, so this is it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead. It's very quick to cook the shrimp. Um, you just, about a couple minutes, put it in this boiling water. Oh, that's not good, I didn't see that. So we're gonna toss this out. And so this shrimp is cooking. And after this, I'm gonna put the, sh after it cooks, I'm gonna put it in a different container than the soup and the vegetable in. So like I said, I don't like soggy shrimp. And that's one of my tricks. And this is the packet. I know um, I was born here, so I really don't know how to cook the, the Filipino, Filipino from scratch. So I use this easy, it's called tamarind. So it's made of tamarind and tamarind is very sour. And so this is, as you can see, that's the shrimp, the vegetable, and um, it's such a good flavor. And you can get this, I live in Virginia, so you can get this pretty much even in, and I saw it one day in Walmart. It's a little bit more than I would go to like Asian market. We have latte here. We have global. We have so many Asian market here that you can get this off if you wanna, you wanna try it. And so my shrimp is done. And after my shrimp is done, see how it's pink? It took about a couple minutes to cook and my vegetable probably cook maybe 20 minutes because you want the radish to be done and I'll make sure it's cooked all the way. But um, so as soon as this boiled again, you know, the temperature go down, the water temperature, even the water was boiling. When I put the shrimp, it goes down because the shrimp put it down. As you know, the shrimp, it wasn't that, was kind of cold. Um, so the, the water temperature went down, it stopped boiling. So as soon as it boils down, I will also um, 
I will also, I will take it out and put it in my my other dish. And if you're wondering, this is my chili. This is for my husband tonight. He's I just cooked chili too. But tonight I I'll probably take that to work for lunch. But this is what I'm gonna eat for dinner. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you try something, um, something new. But this is an acquired taste, but I will be giving you some dishes that I think that you will love. You don't have to acquire any taste for it. And please stay tuned, okay? I will be making some more Filipino dishes as well as American dishes. And again, thank you so much for joining me today. Bye!